Hello and welcome everybody, this is the Red Right Hand here, and today we're going to teach you on St. Paddy's Day, the Green Day. Yeah, look at them, going going ham with all that musics. Alright, we're going to teach you how to get the Overpock mod today. One of the uh, exciting installments of my next tutorial series. But, anywho. What you're going to do is you're going to go to CCG, their website. You can also use, um, it's approved by CCG, so you can play on the CCG servers uh, with this launcher. You just go to Arma 3 Launcher, and it's right here, and download now. That works, but I'm going to show you how to do it on the CCG Launcher, since I was playing on a CCG server, I'd use their launcher. Because, you know, you have to make an account with them anyway to play on their server, I think, because it's locked to your player code or some shit like that, you know. Because swag. Anywho, we're going to drop in a username here. That is not my username. That's my password. Yes, don't don't troll me for this email. I made it like four years ago. No, more than four years ago. Probably like five years ago. And I'm 18, so that would make me a wee little lad at that point. Let us see here. Let us see here. I was born in 2012, apparently. Nineteen ninety-eight. There we go. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'm fucking retarded. Fucking a, mate. I don't even know my own goddamn birthday. This is bad. This is bad. This is not a good way to start a video. All right. Anyway, I digress. The username will be the red. Right hand, yay, go me. Password, good enough, right? Hopefully, our gender definitely female. Def no, no, definitely female. United States of America. No, I'm not. I kind of want to just type in America, but I don't think they'd appreciate that because America. The nipple of Talos. Yeah. Woo. That'll be me. 143. I hate these fucking things. Can't stand them. Alright, good enough, good enough, good enough. And create an account. Holy shit. Holy shit. We're just going to go to Google here, or however you want to access said email of yours. And to activate your account, click the following link. Ding, ding, ding. Alright, now that my account is active and registered, I can sign into their form. I'm so, such a good, such a cool guy. And type in your password. There we go. Alright, so... Now from here, you can do this a couple different ways. I like to go to the forums. There'll be links below so that you don't have to go find it. Then go to Epoch and Overpoch. Go to Arma Trace. Go to Frequently Asked Questions. Okay, don't go there apparently. I can't remember my way around the forums. Because my brain no works. Apparently not. Maybe this one? I'm also retarded because I didn't go to Overpock. There we go. There we go. Alright, how to download mods and join our servers. Wow, that took me a while. So. Here we go. Now that my immense stupidity and inability to find my way around in the forums, there'll be a link here so you guys don't have to look through all of it like a total twat like I did and be like, ooh, candy, every time I see something interesting. <laughs> but, um, anywho, here we go. What you're going to do to download the launcher is you're just going to click here. It'll take you here, and you're just going to download that by clicking that link it'll start the download automatically I already downloaded it so yeah that's why I haven't clicked said link yet 
So yeah, there's that. Also, as I said before, the Armor 3 launcher does work. These are the only two launchers that will work with their servers. So now that you have all that that rigmarole set up, you go to your downloads folder because it'll be done downloading and you just double click it. Why well, I have two of them, only Talos knows. <laughs> and then you're going to go here and you're going to find the location you want it. All right, normally yours will say C drive as in all my tutorials, I put my stuff on my D drive because that's my hard drive and that's an SSD for Windows and shit so it opens up fast. Yours will probably say D drive and it'll say something else like program files 86 CCG launcher but mine that's my own custom one that I've already set so there you go just put it in wherever you want the setup folder to go and it will create a program shortcut whatever we'll leave it at that and you can create a desk desktop icon or not and that all looks good and you just smash and install lots of next smashing because you know we're the brightest tools in the shed here unable to locate arma 2 install path manually hmm i don't have arma 2 installed so that might be why those errors are coming up captain two shoes all right here we go so you might be wondering oh it's blank what the fuck mate yeah it bugs out sometimes just click that and click that and then i'll load the news or whatever and you can go watch all the stuff about frankie playing on their server and all that stuff cuz you know frankie is love frankie is life here's your server list how you actually join their stuff so here's their Overpock EU servers, their um, Overpock US, their Overpock AU, you know, Epoch, all this shit, standalone, all that garbage that you need. Basically, what you're going to do is for Overpock, you're going to find the one that you want to play on. It really doesn't matter, but let's go to US, I guess. Why not? Overpock US 1. Find that mods at Daisy, Overwatch at Daisy, Epoch, and then you're going to click download. So, let me make sure this is the Arma 3 one. I would be really pissed if it wasn't the Arma 3 one. All covered in love. There we go, Arma 3. So, wow. Wow. Took me long enough to notice that. Anywho, um, CCGOP, and you can find whatever map you want. Um, I'm just going to do CCGOP US Cherno. And it'll tell me all the mods you need. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download and uh, start the ungodly amount of time that it will take. So uh, prepare yourselves. It will be probably a solid day's worth of downloading shit. Yes, even if you already have it downloaded and uh, you, you go to settings and you open the mod folder. Yes, congratulations. why you opened up a second thing of yourself I'll never know anywho doesn't really matter if you go and find this and you go and take your old files and put them in here you still have to download them again from what I could tell so just the easiest thing to do is just go here hit download it'll work so go ahead and hit download and you'll get a big glorious please wait and then you will download at 600 KBs for the rest of your life. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed that um, little piece of this install guide or whatever you want to label it. I'll be back for the in-game footage of it actually working and me not just being a bantering idiot for the next... Do uh, you want to stick around for 8 hours? I, I don't think you do, so I'll end the video here. Alright, hello everybody. Now that that's untalos worthy download is done, and you know, all the rigmarole in between, the crying, the salt in your wounds, all that kind of thing, we're back. And basically, I'm just launching the launcher from the .exe. And uh, this will pop up because you don't own Arma 2. If you own Arma 2 and have it installed, then it'll find its own path. I don't have Arma 2. Well, I did, but some some douchebag stole my CD key. And no, I didn't give it to him. I was just like, I was that guy who got randomly lucky enough, lucky enough to have their CD key stolen. Which was awesome, but whatevs. I don't play it anymore. 
First things first, gonna go up to Arma 2, um, Arma 3, not Arma 2, Burp a Derp. Can't speak today. Find CCG OP1 chair now. As you can see, there's all the mods, and it says join instead of download like it did before. So, Swagadelic mate. I'm gonna go ahead and hit join. It's gonna launch Arma 3 and do its whole shindig. Loading add ons will take a second because it's changing them and initializing them. And I've never actually played the game with all these add ons, so. It might take a bit for it to actually initialize this time. But, here we go. I digress. Oh, excuse me, I had to get that stretch on. That felt so good. You guys have no clue. That literally was like the cream of the cream of stretching. You're going to get this because, you know, all mods always have a splash screen. And you're going to get a maximum number of players reached because hashtag the douchebag had to cock block me on camera. Because, you know, swagadelic. So, <laughs> um, basically, I'm going to try a different one and see if I can get into it. Um, let's see here, CCG, OP. Also, on a side note, downloading from uh, AU may be faster for you. I actually downloaded from AU instead of the US, and it, like, tripled my download speed. So, free tip. So, I'm going to join this one now and see if uh, the gods are good and it has non-full players that'd be pretty pretty prime man I mean you can just join their other servers but I'm joining the US one because I live in the US and hopefully I get a good ping there but you know swagadelic me any any skank at any point you'll get this battle I think just hit agree Sign your sign your soul over to Battle Eye. They'll steal it. Don't worry. They'll only you know. It'll be like a preamble of what happens after death. They'll just spank it a bit. It'll be no big D. Deal, not penis, of course. Anywho, now that we watch this ungodly long loading bar fill up and then just sit there like a twat, like derping out for some reason, because you know, swag. There you go. Made it in the game. Apparently no one plays in Australia. Sadly. But, anywho. There you go. Made it in the game. I'm not actually going to play right now, but I will spawn in just to prove it to you. That when you hit OK, you don't just instantly, your computer explodes and like smoke flies out everywhere. And you, you light on fire and then you're like running around. See CCG right there. See the big symbol. And, you know, back, <laughs> back to that un stupid, retarded explanation of people running around on fire because their computer lights their arm hair up like a Christmas tree. Now you get to watch some more glorious loading bars for no apparent reason that of course even when they are full don't actually spawn you in because you know having the game load when the loading bar is done who needs that kind of logic in their life I sure as hell don't. On a side note, if you saw my other manual install guide, that one is not as up to date as these. This is like a way more updated version of Epoch. So, yeah. Basically, if you want to play the more updated version, use this method. Otherwise, you can do that and play the older version. Everybody will get this. No big deal. Just hit close. Your computer hasn't exploded. And see, close combat gaming. La di da di da. Spawned on the coast. Hashtag swag, hashtag make love, hashtag welcome ISIS. <laughs> Why is my name this? Oh yeah, that's right. Swagadelic. I was uh, trolling some people on a different server, which you might have heard of. I got banned from, so. That's why I also decided to use the CCG thing, because I got banned from another one, so yeah. That is a, uh, that's, that's his problem in my mind. I'm going to bore it from there. So, as always with these tutorials, keep it informational. Don't be a douchebag down in the chat. Or, uh, heck, I might get to flex that ban hammer arm of mine. Because, you know, gotta keep that thing strong. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be douchey. But, yeah. Try and keep it clean. At least on the install guides. Go be a twaticus on my other videos and spam messages the shit out of me on Steam or whatever. Don't actually do that. But, you know, it's an install guide. Keep it clean down there.
wash out regularly. Can't say regularly, apparently. All the sexual puns that I can think of that I'm not going to say because this video should be done by now. Yeah. Au revoir.